rotate it. We rotate the camera. Rotate the camera. Rotate the camera. What's up, guys? Over here, and welcome back to some more Tiny Town. Now, guys, I've been going through all the comments, okay? All the comments, and about the airplanes being backwards. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry the airplanes were backwards. My bad, dance. I didn't know. My bad. But not only that, guys, you have been leaving me a ton of positive feedback and a ton of awesome comments and suggestions to do. Uh, the, the main thing I'm seeing now is I need trees in a military base. Uh, we also want a racetrack, a Titanic, a monster blowing up the Titanic, I think I said. Uh, someone said, uh, much, much more. We need RC cars. We need a, a metro. Obviously, I can't do it all in one episode, guys. But I'm going to do my best here. I think today, I haven't decided what we're going to do yet. I got to get in there and see. Okay, guys, here we go. Let me, uh, let me rotate this a little bit here. And let's just go ahead and fix this right off the bat here. Is that better? Is that how that's supposed to look? I feel like that's still wrong because this is supposed to stretch out to the plane, right? But the door's up there? Come on, Obi. You've been in real life airplanes before. How does this work, man? Um, where's that airplane? I had another airplane there. Oh, it's taken off. That's right. Okay. But it's supposed to be backing up, right? It's supposed to be backing up. Guys, it goes like this. This is how it's supposed to look. Oh, my jeez Louise. Am I... Oh, my goodness. I don't even know. I'm just a big old goofball. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Obi, come on. Get with the program. Now, this right here is going to stretch out and connect to the door right there. And that is how you board an airplane. This probably looks a whole lot better. Let me fix this real quick, and I'll be right back. Okay, so these are called runway roads. I think these... I don't know why they look like uh, street... Savage is now playing Rimworld, guys. If you were curious about that, uh, there you go. Um, so I think these go here. I think this. Maybe. I don't like how there's lines, though. It looks like a normal street road, doesn't it? Is that... I don't think airplanes use normal street roads. All right, guys. So before we jump on to the next project, let me go ahead and show you what I've done with the airport here. So I turned all the airplanes around, obviously. I went ahead and changed these into normal little uh, airport runway things. Over here, I used connectors to connect it and make it kind of like straight line. Now, I couldn't get it to go perfect here. Um, some things just would not line up the way I wanted it to, so I kind of had to improvise a little bit. It looks okay. It's a little weird, but the airport people know what's going on here. Then you go over here to the, the runway middle is what this piece is called. And then this is like the runway blast off takeoff thing. Now, I think this is supposed to branch out into different runways. So you can have like different airplanes taking off at different times and different directions and stuff like that. But we're going with the singular here. And uh, then over here, you see we have a big giant hole where nothing is yet. Because, I don't know. I haven't put anything there yet. Okay. Okay. You just did do it yet. Jeez. Okay, so now we have to move on to something else. Um, a lot of people have been saying make like a military base, maybe like a Area 51 kind of thing. Um, I'm trying to decide where I want to put that. I kind of want to start building on this side over here. I kind of have a pretty cool idea of what I want to do here. And uh, I think it's going to work out pretty good, but I'm going to need lots of space. Lots of space. Okay, so what we want to do here, boys, is go really far out there, you know, really out there. Um, we're going way out there, okay? Obviously, we can always connect things to this road later on, too. But this is going to be a pretty big city, guys. All right, this city is like, it's no joke. We're going out there. Oh, geez, we are really going out there, aren't we? Maybe not that far. Maybe, like, this is far enough here. How much stuff can I put down in this game before it starts lagging and breaking? I mean, geez. Okay, I'm hoping we can find some kind of dirt road here. So let's go to maybe farm would have a dirt road. Farm usually has dirt, right? What is that? Small, dark dirt. Well, that that's a start. Dirt road corner. Okay, okay. We want this road to start slowly convert into a dirt road. That's not a slow conversion. That's a straight on, like, concrete dirt. <laughs> It'll work. If we find something better, we'll fix it later on. So now we're going out into the deserty area, boys. We're way out in the desert now. Okay, we're really out there, aren't we? Jeez. We're gonna have some uh, turns. That's a small, a small, uh, small turn there. Oh, here's right here. I like how neat these turns are. Look at the little green. Uh, who, who cuts all this, man? Who's doing this? <laughs> we're gonna do a four-way dirt intersection here. Don't know why anyone would ever do that. And we're gonna have... Let's see here. We gotta pick a spot for Area 51. I would like this dirt to eventually connect to another city. Oh, jeez, there's a wall there. <laughs> I 
Okay, I hit that pretty hard. Uh, I would like this road here to connect to another city way over there one day. Um, but I want, like, Area 51 to be, like, right here. Like, kind of out in the middle. Military base out in the middle. You know, you have to have, per you know, like, approved authorizations to get there and stuff like that. But it needs to go down, like, a non... See, that's too skinny. I need to fill up the whole thing. I need it to go down, like, a non-generic path here. You know, I need it to be, like, off the road, kind of hidden, but not too hidden. You know, just enough. I guess we'll just take a normal road here. I got a plan. I got a plan. I got a plan to solve this. Guys, I just got an amazing idea. I just got an amazing idea. I don't want to say it yet. It's going to happen in this video, though, okay? It's not... I'm not going to be like, it's going to happen like 10 videos from now. It's going to happen now. Later, at the end of the video. It's going to be one of the last things we do. But it's going to be so amazing, you don't even know. Hold on to your butts, okay? Your butts are going to fall off. Hold on to them. Now, when you get closer to a little military base here... Since tanks need a kind of like a little runway here and stuff like that, you get the normal road, okay? You get the normal road. This is, you know, a little bit boring. There we go. About there should be pretty good. We're pretty out of town now. So, <laughs> okay, we're pretty far here. Now we just need to make some concrete here. I'm thinking some dark... Let's see here. Dark road. No, no, no. Large asphalt might work pretty good. I want it to be a different color concrete than the other you know, places here. Am I snapping on? Turn my sna all snaps on. And let's make some... Um, Let's make some... You know, ground. I think these builds are hard for me because I play when it's like super big and I actually have to like reach over to do one piece of ground. No, Obi, shrink it down, man. Look, look at the convenience. Look how fast I can paint. Oh, where am I? I don't want to hit my elbow again. I hit my elbow the other day. Jeez, that hurts so bad. Where am I? I, I got to get like a floor mat so my butt isn't in the webcam the whole time and my face is. I need my face to be there. Okie dokie, I have our plain little platform here. It looks small, but I promise you, if we zoom in a little bit, you can see it really is quite large. Yes, quite large it is. Oh, jeez. Okay, well, we got a lot of playroom here. Let me shrink that bad boy down, because I can't even... I can't build when it's that big. Jeez Louise. Okay, let's see what we need here. Probably tanks. Do they even have military in here? Uh-oh. Okay, well, obviously, we're going to need... Look how small the fighter jets are, guys. I must have made this gigantic. Get out of there, little dude. Whoa. Jeez. I think I might have made it too big, guys. No, 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 no. Military bases have lots of fighter jets, right? I've been to some before, so I kind of know how they look here. Sometimes they have little roadways, like where they actually park them. But the one that's next to my house actually looks like this. And they just back them all up. They back them all up right next to each other, and they cover them with a tarp. And then, you know, they, they keep them fresh and good to go when the... When something breaks out. So, we're just going to go ahead. This is this is how it looks at my house. So, obviously, we're not going to do the whole thing. Just be military jets and stuff like that. We're going to go out like that. You know, we don't want them to be too close together. Should I do a different color? Maybe a different color. Let's get this. You know, variety is the spice of life, guys. There we go. Now, we have all our little jets. Kind of all nicely lined up there. We're not going to do too many here. What I really want to find is tanks. But I don't think there's tanks. Um... We got rockets here, which is pretty cool. Spaceship, but this isn't a space center, so... We need tanks! I don't- I haven't seen any battle tanks yet. Hmm. That's an issue. Okay, guys, so I took to, uh, the Steam Workshop to see if I could find any tanks. And unfortunately, no one has made a proper tank yet, or a tank at all. Yeah, so there's no tanks yet in the, uh, workshop. So, unfortunately, I can't put any down. Um, I don't really know how to make one. You know what I could do, though? I made some hangers here. We want to get some military staff in here. Then maybe I can make, like, a super tank. And then when someone makes, like, a normal tank, we can just line them up with normal tanks. I think that's a good idea. We'll make one kind of, like, mega tank. That'd be awesome. Ooh. The ideas are flowing now. Okay, hold on. And trust me, I got a big plan for all this uh, empty spot, too. So, you know, just let me work. I got I to gotta go to work, boys. I got to get I gotta to work here. got to put some things down. Okay, I got go to gotta go to all. And we got to go to people. Do we have any military people now? That's the question here. This guy is a daredevil. But aren't all army people the the most hardcore, daredevilist, most courageous people we know? I mean, geez, I don't have what it takes to be in the military, guys. I'd get pooped on. You know, my grandpa was though. And he was he was he was good. He was, he, was a, he was a good dude. So I'm not seeing proper military people here. We got some aviator fighters. Okay. Okay, we'll put some of the, They're not in their proper uniform. They're just here. You know? Wow, they look so tiny compared to what I've built here. The the military today has called in some of the best best aviator pilots in town. Uh oh. Hello, dude. Hello, dude. 
The military has called some of the best aviator pilots in town to, um, you know, check on the airplanes and make sure everything's up to snuff, you know? Sometimes you have to hire outside work to make sure things are going good. And that's what happened here today. Guys! They have pigs! Whoa! Oh, I hit myself in the face, but whoa! Whoa! Look at that little dude! Hey, we'll do something with the pigs. Okay, so there's no tanks. There's no military people. So how do we finish this off? Obviously, a military base is going to need tanks. You know what we could do, though? For right now, we can barbed wire around it. We have the placement set, so that's really good. As long as we have the placement, we can come back later on and add what we need here. But we do need... I don't think barbed wire is going to be in here. Hmm. Okay, so barbed wire is not in here. So we're going to use a metal barrier here. We're going to make it bigger, though. We're going to do a bigger metal barrier here like this. It's pretty big. It's pretty big. You know, you, you don't just walk in to military base 51 or whatever we're calling it. Okay. Go all the way around here. Can, oh, can I not go up one either? I can, I can figure that out. I want to go a little bit higher than I'm supposed to here. There we go. So now we kind of closed off area 51, AKA secret military base plan B slash C and the user manual of, uh, school work. Huh? Um, anyways, we, Need to put more stuff in here because it looks very empty. Obviously, we're gonna need some kind of we're gonna need some kind of like stand here that says, "Hey, you need to stop." You know, you know. If you ever pulled up to like a military base or anything like that, there's always like a stand here. There's always someone on duty here, and he's always guarding. He's always making sure the people are doing what they're supposed to do. Let's turn this around here. Turn this around here like this. Oops, get it up there a little bit like that. Oh, we gotta fill this in, huh? That's a little bit. There we go. Oh, and anybody sneaking around here? Absolutely not. Oh, where, where did my buildings go? Hey, go back up. Back up. Okay, and now we're gonna take this thing here, not this. Maybe this one here. Wait, hold on. That looks... Oh, there it is. Okay, it's so tiny. It needs to be a little bigger than that. It needs to go across the whole road here. There we go. And that's gonna stop the vehicles from just going through, you know. You have to talk to this guy first. Have your papers and documentations ready. Uh, where are you guys? Again, I'm right up on my monitor. How do I... I gotta stop moving when I play this game. Obi, get back into your spot. Get it. This is my designated spot. I know. Because this is where I could feel the carpet wrinkles a little bit. And that's where I know you guys are right there-ish. So I know I'm in the right spot here. I gotta... I gotta rotate this. Gosh darn it. Whoa, jeez. Too big. Too big. Obi, rotate it. We rotate the camera. Rotate the camera. Rotate the camera. Whoa. Okay, I'm in my wrinkle spot. Now shrink it. Okay, now shrink it. Shrink it. Oh, there we go. Right back. Oh, jeez, I got a way to go. Whoa, guys, I can make it even smaller than I thought. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> How small can I go? How come I can't get over there anymore? Am I really that far away? Jeez. There we go. Let me go ahead and patch that hole up right there. Whoopsie, whoopsie. There we go. Okay. And we're going to go ahead. Ooh. We don't have to go ahead and pretend. We're going to go ahead and make it a fact. And this right here is electrical box. And that is connected right here by the guard stand. And this one is powering the whole fence with electricity. Now, you might be thinking, Obi, what if a criminal comes up and just cuts the wires? Well, my boys, they got more than one. And they will never account for that. Will they? Maybe. Maybe. Let's go ahead and get some more here. I like these. These are electricity boxes. However, you wouldn't know that from the outside, though, would you? You would just think, maybe they're speakers. Maybe they're cameras. You know, but if you come outside and you see it. Electricity. So we got four here. And then we got one hidden generator over here they'll never suspect the thing let's go ahead and remove these we don't need those there now we gotta build our super awesome mega weapon okay the mega tank because we don't have normal tanks okay we don't have normal tanks and so we gotta do spy kicks spy kicks yummy so yeah we can't do normal tanks we don't have military people. We have the fighter jets, thank goodness. That's really cool. But we do need, like, some kind of secret weapon here. So, 
How do we build a giant mega tank? Hmm, we gotta use some random pieces here, don't we? It has to be... It doesn't have to be green, necessarily. It could be something else. Or we could go with green. We could go green here. Let's see here. This could be the base of a tank. Right? The base of a tank. Let's put it there. And we'll go like this. I'm not sure how we're doing this yet. Kind of just figuring things out and putting things down. Ooh! These look like... Like, like uh, tank tr tires, don't they? Like the tank tracks or whatever they're called. If this goes underneath it like this... Hold on. We're actually getting on to something now, boys. Okay, so I have the base of the tank done. This is like the wheels and the wheel turners, okay? This is what turns the tracks. Now, I know what you're thinking. Obi, how is this a super tank? It's so small looking, but it's really not. It looks small, but if you put like a person next to it, like this is a super tank. You see this coming down the street. You are running the other way. Unless you're the pilot, and then you're you're running to get in there. Okay, that's what's happening here. Now, this is this is one tank. We have to connect it all, so we don't have the main compartment yet. Now, I'm thinking, and this might be a little bit ridiculous here, but where's my primitives here? We could do a perfect square. A different color. I want a different color square here. Maybe a cube. It's a cube, not a square. My apologies. Something like this. Now, I know it looks a little bland, but we are going to be adding a little bit of detail here. It's a, I want it to be perfecter. That's a word. Just kidding. Okay. So, this is the main compartment. This is where all the people go inside. It's a multi tier. You go inside, and there's like stairs that go up, tons of machines and stuff like that. It's basically like a moving fortress slash science lab. It's crazy. Now, obviously, this looks a little bit bland here. So, we got to add some. Colors and things and stuff like that. Now, a cool thing to do in this game, guys, is to use other vehicles like this. And watch, I'm gonna show you real quick. We're gonna we'll turn snapping off. And then you can actually like make them bigger. And you can kind of use them as detail. Like if you look at it like now, it's just two fins sticking out of a block. So you could do things like that if you wanted to. Now that's not really what I was going for, but that was just a quick example, you know. We could totally do something like that. And I don't I don't know if I like the way that looks though, but I mean, no, that's not the one we need. But we could use things like that, similar, you know? So that's pretty cool. I mean, let's see, like a bus. Like, see these little two grooves on top of the bus here? Little platform there. It adds a little bit of detail to the tank. There we go. There we go. It looks a little bit better, doesn't it? It's not a plain cube now. You can actually, like, do that if you wanted to. Yeah, you can really get things perfect in this game if you really tried. There's a tire sticking out the side. I don't know. Yeah, it's got a... Game all comes down to having a really steady hand, guys. No! I took my cube away. Gosh darn it. There we go. And now if you look at the bottom there, you can clearly see two trucks sticking out. Okay, so that's not what we want there. <laughs> we can block that later on, though. But look at this little detail we got here. There's some, uh, lo looks like a, kind of like a little bit of body armor, doesn't it? And then a little stripe down the middle. Ooh. I'm digging it. Let's do the other side the same way, I think. Sometimes I get it just right, guys. And sometimes I can't get it right at all. Look at the, look how flush this one is with the flatness with the cube. I can't get the other one anywhere near that. Uh, OCD. OCD. Oh, jeez. Okay, now we need to cover this with something. Ooh, a barrier. A nice little black barrier here. Could do just fine. Okay, so the barrier's there on both sides now. Looking pretty good. We need, like, a little viewing compartment now, yeah? Something that people could see out of. Actually... If I'm thinking about it, tanks don't have glass compartments that you look out like a, it's not like a normal car where you look out the window. It has like cameras and sensors and stuff like that. Ooh. Is that a camera? <laughs> that is not a camera. What are you doing? I don't know if this game actually has a camera, but I'm hoping. I'm really hoping right now. I want cameras. I want one giant camera. <laughs> Ooh, that's a canal pipe, but. Wait a minute. This isn't just a canal pipe. This... <gasps> Obi, grab it. Jeez, just grab it. This is the the front of the tank. 100%. This has to be. If this isn't it, then I don't know what else is. Okay, hold on. We'll come back to the camera idea. Is there like canal pipe? Is there like a canal like extender? Like I want more pipage, but without the black square on the back. I need... What is this under? What is canal pipe under? Town? Maybe. Holy moly, guys. I'm taking a donut right now. I'm taking a donut, and I'm making a giant donut right now. Okay? Giant donut. 
Giant donut. That looks stupid. Obi, why? Why even? Jeez. Okay, I'm taking walkie talkies now. <laughs> walkie talkies are making them a little bit bigger. And these are gonna be like the camera sensors. Okay, that's the... Let's get a different color though. I I'm tired of the same blue. Let's get some yellow up in here, you know? This is a colorful tank. You guys know me. You guys know I like colors, okay? I like, I like rainbows. I think they're cool looking. Jeez, that's all it is. Okay, so the walkie talkies on the top act as an antenna. Right here, you can see the antenna right there. And then they also act as cameras, so you can kind of see what's going on here. Actually, they should probably go around a little bit more, too. There we are. Walkie-talkie sensors all around the mega tank. Okay, dokey. Looking good. Looking a little, uh, it's not the best. Okay, I could have done better. Is this an iPad? It's a tablet. Uh? <gasps> solar pad. This is a solar panel. We're pretending this is a solar panel. And this is going to go on top. There. They gotta remember, guys, this is a gigantic solar panel, so this thing is absorbing so much of the sun. Wow, that went on there very flush. I like that. Okay. Now we need to, like, we need to extend the nozzle. The nozzle needs to be longer. Oh! Oh, satellite dish, but we're gonna pretend this is a megaphone. This is what we scream at the people at. Pull over! Pull over! This is how we talk to, like, you know, it's a microphone. Our words come out of here. Yeah. Oh, hold on. I can make that happen. Okay, so you can't make the bubbles any bigger. Uh, I was gonna have it say, like, pull over or something crazy, but, uh, you can't blow up the bubbles, unfortunately. Oh, well. Hey, get out of here, I guess. Okay, uh, I don't know where that one went. I don't know if it deleted or not. It might just be a floating bubble somewhere. We might see it one day. One day we'll be looking and we'll see a bubble somewhere. What the? Oh, yeah. I was gonna use that. Okay, guys, so I'm kind of making this up as I go now, obviously. Uh, okay, so this this canal piece right here, this is made out of lithium, titanium, alloy, slash, aluminum foil. Uh, not the kind your mom buys in the grocery store, by the way. Uh, something better. Um, anyways, um, this is where all the combustion happens, so it has to be made out of this kind of particular metal. And then it'll pass through the actual gun chamber. Through there. And now, after we go through the chamber here, now we can connect it to something else here. And, um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. totally know what I'm doing here. Whoops. Totally know exactly what I'm doing here. Now, the cool thing about this tank, guys, is it's gotten its technology from that octopus monster over there. It knows how to make a tank barrel flexible. So say if there's an enemy right here, instead of moving the whole tank, it'll flex. And the bullet will go through like a little tube, pew, and just shoot him like that. So we need something bright and white and beautiful because we are symbolizing of peace so this is where this is where the bullet's gonna go through guys okay it goes through here it can bust in here connects on to here and then it can go through the normal tube like there there that's something else now you might be wondering ob why is the tank gun pointing up there what's possibly coming from up there well you're about to find out so i'm starting to realize that my mega tank actually kind of looks like an elephant doesn't it Kind of like an elephant's trunk right here. That's kind of cool. Uh, but yeah, this is where the bullet's gonna come on. Come, it come into, combust, connects, comes into, and then it can fire in any direction it wants, okay? It's a super mega tank after all. My best scientist man was on it. Now I know exactly what you're gonna say. OB, a tank missile cannot bend through tubes. That's because this doesn't fire missiles, okay? It fires laser beams. Duh, jeez. Because first it starts off as a bunch of electricity and waves and stuff like that, and it has to combust it down in here, it explodes it, and then a connector stacks it, and then it's able to go through the tube here. There we go. Um, I made something here. What is it you're asking? Ooh. <laughs> oh. Well, you want to learn what I'm doing, man? I don't know. Um, anyways, this is where the laser's gonna like, you know, zoo, 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 pew! One of those noises, you know? Now we need a laser. How do I get a laser? Wait a minute, I know how to get a laser. These, but small. It's a very precise laser. Oh, geez. You got to stack it on top like this. It doesn't let me pull it straight out. I'm not going to... I don't have the straight enough hand for this. Okay, this isn't going to work. I need something bigger and something that I can just like... Do. I need like a straight line is what I need. You now you guys might be asking yourself, Obi, what in the heck are you doing? Well, my question would be, what in the heck do you mean? And then you might rebuttal and say, Obi, why is there... Uh, floating asteroids below the clouds why are asteroids below the clouds and not above the clouds and then i would rebuttal and say because this is a floating asteroid that was sent to earth by an alien to blow it up 
and, 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 and that's, it's close. And then you would say, OB, don't we have better technology? Couldn't we have stopped the asteroid from even getting below the clouds? Because by that time, we're pretty much already dead. I mean, let's face it here. If it's this close, it's not going to be any good. And then I would say, yes, you're all right. But I've already started building it below the clouds. And I don't want to move it because this is kind of frustrating to move a little bit. Because you clearly see I'm having trouble here. And I'm just going to delete the whole thing and start over because this looks absolutely like garbage. And now, if you go way out here above the clouds, <laughs> this makes more sense. Oh my goodness, Obi, what are you doing, dude? Why are you building way out here? Because we need planets, okay? Planets like this. Whoa. How big is this? Like, if I put this closer to Earth, is that pretty big? I want to be able to see it from way down there. I am, like, even if I could see it from down there, I'm never going to be like, I'm never going to be like, hey guys, remember the time I put a giant, well, you guys can kind of see it. Make it bigger. I want it bigger. <laughs> bigger. Need bigger. If it's bigger, it looks cooler. Bigger is cooler. Whoa, that's big. Oh, jeez. Oh, my goodness. Where'd it go? I think I'm inside of it. Oh, I am. What in the world? That's way too big. What? <laughs> what? Um. 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 That's big. Maybe a little bit smaller. Maybe just a pinch smaller here will do. Oh, jeez. Whoa. I'm scared to grab it. I feel like it's... Did I, did I get it? I got... Okay, you know what? Just... I gotta get into, like, the middle of it to delete it. And I can't get it delete. I can't even click on it. I don't think. I don't know. Where am I? How do I delete this? I can't... It's like I can't even grab it. It's so big. Oh! I did it. Okay, I did it. I did it. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay, we'll, we'll try again with something a little bit smaller this time. Like, it can't be big. It just can't be that big. Because that's, like, an impossible task for me to deal with. It's a smiley face. Okay, I'm sorry. We're not doing that. We're not doing smiley faces on the giant asteroid. Okay. This is just a giant asteroid. It doesn't have feelings, but it might have some eggs inside of it. We don't know, but we're shooting lasers at it. Pew, pew. We gotta get some lasers going here. Shooting lasers at it, trying to take it down. You know, we gotta stop it. Does this look a laser? That's that's a crate. I need a laser. Uh, I don't think this game encountered red barrier. They're sharp lasers. Kachoo! Okay. Well, we can line it like this too. That looks like a laser, doesn't it? Kachoo! And then we're gonna come out like this. Hold on. Bring one here. We're we'll firing many lasers at it. Kachoo! Kachoo! Pew pew! They're lasers. They're lasers. They're flying. This looks kind of cool. It needs to be coming from the angle of the tank, though, Obi. Come on, man. Okay, guys, so I kind of redid things a little bit differently here. I went ahead and made the lasers coming from there to there, so it's a little bit more in proportion where it's coming from here. It's not exactly perfect. It's really hard to get, like, multiple straight lines all in the same direction, especially when you're going from so far here. And I also went ahead and moved this a little bit closer to the ground, so it'd be a little bit easier on me to line it up better here. But, uh, there we go, guys. Um, you know, scientists fear that might be a giant alien egg. Oops. Left over. See, this is where my lasers were coming from before. That makes no sense. It, 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 that was just... It, it, it ain't gonna be perfect, but it has to be better than garbage. You know? There. Yeah, scientists predict it's probably a giant, uh, alien egg coming down to Earth here. So, uh, you know, we're trying to stop it here. Shoot some lasers at it before it gets here. Hopefully... It works. Hopefully, it doesn't crash. Hopefully, aliens aren't already under the ground. Maybe they are. Anyways, guys, I think that's going to call it for today's episode. Obviously, I want to do a lot more to this military base. However, I'm very short on time today. I do apologize. Some real life things are coming up right now. So I'm going to go ahead and handle some personal business. If you will, you might be like, come here, boy, give me my money. Gah, gah. I'm just kidding. I gotta go grocery shopping. The wife's making me go grocery shopping. <laughs> oh my goodness. I'm gonna get some Cinnamon Toast Crunch. <gasps> Guys, there's a cereal out there that I found called uh, Cinnamon French Toast. The same thing as Cinnamon Toast Crunch. But they're little tiny little squares of bread. And they taste like little sugary waffles. And they're so good. And I love them. So I'm gonna get she didn't put that on the list for me to get. But I'm gonna get them. 
I'm a ghetto. Anyways, guys, when we come back next time, I'm probably going to fill this in with a lot of sand. Maybe make some mountains here. I think next episode, we're going to build something a little bit smaller and quicker. And then focus maybe on the aesthetics. Uh, you know, we need to get some trees for oxygen. Don't, I, I read your comment. I get some trees for oxygen and stuff like that. Um, Yeah, guys, that's it. That tank is as big as that octopus robot thing. That's crazy. I made that way too big. <laughs> But yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching this episode of Tiny Town. If you enjoyed it, make sure to leave the video a thumbs up, please. And I'll see all you cool cats in the next video. Bye-bye.